Hey YouTube, what's going on? Uh, I'm here with a video today. I'm going to be showing you how to uh, disassemble your iPhone and remove any dust that may be under the screen. So if you have that problem, stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty quick. It only takes about 10 minutes to do. And I'm here with a very special guest, my dad. Oh. He's over here drinking a beer. Yeah, I'm wondering, how do you get dust? underneath the screen. If you're in a dusty environment, it'll, it'll find its way under the phone through the speakers, through the uh, charging port, and through the headphone jack. So it'll just kind of find its way under the phone screen, and it's really irritating, especially if you get those white specks of dust. Mm -hmm. Hello. So, the things you're going to need are two bowls, because there's two different sized screws you're going to be using, a suction cup, a small flathead screwdriver, and a small Phillips screwdriver. Now where would you get those? You can get them online at an electronics website or at a local hardware store for pretty cheap, and a safe pry tool, and you can get this at an electronics store as well. What is it made of? Plastic. And then you're going to need a anti-static dry cleaning cloth. Something you'd use to clean a CD would work fine. Or sunglasses. And then two latex gloves. Um, if you can, get the sterile medical grade because then you know they're not going to come with dust on them or anything like that. So first, there's two screws here. Right there and right there. You're going to take those out first with your Phillips screwdriver. So I'm going to do that. Oh, and make sure you do it over the bowl because these screws are really small. And um, if you don't have a magnetized screwdriver, they're going to follow all over the place. And you're going to lose your screws. So you're going to take your suction cup and then place it on the bottom of your iPhone screen. Closer to the closer to the home button, the better, and just push down. And the reason for that is there's three different wires connected over near the earpiece, and if you pull up on this side, you're going to rip and break. So that kind of leads me to my next point: is don't pull too hard; just pull just enough for it to pop out and then release. And you're just going to want to kind of unfold it, and the wires may unplug themselves as you unfold it. So I'm just going to set this down, and yeah. Wire number one just unplugged itself. So then you're going to see a wire. Let me zoom in. You're going to see a wire labeled wire one. And then this one should be what labeled wire two, but it's not because I purchased an aftermarket uh, screen. So that's different when I crack my screen. And then there's another ribbon cable underneath this you have to unplug. So first, if uh, cable one hasn't unplugged itself already, just go ahead and pry it up. And then use your safe pry tool and pry out this one. Should come out pretty easily. And then next, there's this little ribbon cable. And you're going to want to take your flathead screwdriver and pop up the little black thing on the opposite end. Pop that up and then just pull it out. And then you can remove this part of the phone. You don't need this anymore. Just put it in a safe place. So the next step is going to be, re let me zoom out for a minute, is removing the six screws that hold the LCD screen to the glass digitizer. And we can take this off. The screws are located um, two on the left hand side, I guess the right hand side if you're looking at it from the back, three on the right, and three on the left. So there's one here, one here, and one on the top here. And there might be a black piece of electrical tape covering up these screws. I guess that's how Apple tells if you've opened up your phone or not. So you're just going to take these screws out, and then after that you're going to just going to pop the LCD out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
Make sure you use a different bowl for these screws because they're a different size. All right, so once you're done taking out all six screws, you're gonna take the flathead screwdriver again and zoom in. And you're not, you don't want to um, put it underneath here because that's where the LCD screen is. And if you put it under there and pry it out, you're gonna damage the pixels on the LCD screen. So instead what you do is you stick it in the side here and this metal frame bends pretty easily. You don't have to worry about it bending because when you put the screws back in, it'll bend itself back. So you just kind of pull up on both sides and it should pop out pretty easily. And then you pull it towards the bottom of the phone and then the LCD will just come out. So then you have the LCD and the digitizer. Make sure you don't touch this portion of the phone down here. That's the home button. It's really fragile and it can break easily. So the next step is to put on your gloves because you don't want to get any fingerprints on your screen while you're trying to clean it. Now, could you use Windex on no. the inside? Don't use any wet chemicals. Just use a dry lens or computer screen cloth, especially on the LCD screen. I guess you could use it for the digitizer, but you probably don't want to because there's some electrical stuff there. And for the LCD screen, this isn't protected by any plastic film or anything. It's just an LCD screen, so be really careful and don't press too hard. And just get everything off. And then do the same thing for the digitizer. And for this, you don't have to be very careful. Just don't bend this metal part here. An easy way to check to see if you've gotten all the dust off is just to hold it up to a light. And make sure you just clean both sides because it's kind of hard to tell what side the dust and fingerprints are on. So once you're confident that you've got all the dust off, you're just going to want to put everything back on how you found it. And make sure that no dust has fallen on anything while it's been sitting out because sometimes dust just kind of is in the air.